Hey guys, Garrett here. So today I'll be shooting the new RX3 by Hoyt, and this is a new model that they came out with in 2019, just a few days ago. Really excited to shoot this bow because number one, I bought the Turbo last year, the RX1 Turbo, and that was despite having quite a bit of vibration and quite a bit of noise, some finish issues. I really wanted carbon. So going into this year's series of the RX uh, with the RX3, um, and where's the RX2? I don't know. It's out in left field somewhere with the iPhone 9. I have no idea what's going on there. But um, with the RX3, there's going to be a few things that I'm absolutely looking for. Less noise and less vibration. Uh, the, the draw cycle last year I was completely happy with, but the actual bow on the shot definitely needed some room for improvement. And they've got some new technologies in here um, that I'm hoping really improves the shot. Just some real quick things that I see out of this year that I notice are the uh, shock pods, which if you're a Triax fan, you're saying, hey, you know, they stole that from the Triax. Well, <laughs> I think they did. So, um, you know, they have this shock pod on the bottom. They definitely widen the stance uh, of the bow. So um, is it gonna be more stable on the shot? Um, I'm sure hoping so. Definitely a little bit wider altogether. And uh, they did change the grip over last year. They did change the string stop over last year. It's a lot softer material. Hopefully that help and, uh, helps dampen the, uh, the vibration a little bit. And then the cams are just a little bit bigger. They're going, you know, same cam system with the CZT Pro. And from what I could tell, it's just a slightly bigger cam. And uh, just really excited to see some of the differences that they, 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 they have this year with the bow. But the main things I'm looking for are less vibration and less noise because last year they had quite a bit. And that's coming from a guy that bought the turbo. So um, I do see some qualities from some other bows in here, but you know what? A lot of guys are bagging on Hoyt this year for that. I'm not really too worried about it. As a guy that just loves to shoot nice bows, um, I see some, a lot of good qualities in this bow. So we're gonna shoot some arrows through the chronograph, just like last year's. This bow is set at 29 inches at 70 pounds. And uh, I have a four, or 363 grain arrow, a 458 grain arrow, a 486 grain arrow, and a 611 grain arrow. So we have all sorts of uh, arrow weights covered for guys that like fast, light arrows versus the guys that prefer the momentum. So we're gonna shove those through the chronograph real quick and tell you my thoughts on, on, on the bow on the shot and we'll wrap up the video. So let's start with the lightest first and work our way up. Definitely a smooth draw. Feels a lot like last year, but I'd say maybe even a little bit smoother. So uh, I got 312 out of that arrow, and I can tell you already that the vibration is significantly less than last year. It still jumps a little bit, but uh, definitely an improvement. Um, the noise, definitely quieter than last year's bow. Um, is it super dead quiet? No, uh, but there's definitely, definitely improvement over last year's bow. So let's go ahead with the 458 grain arrow. So 281, and with that little extra added weight out of the arrow, definitely getting more dead in the hand feel. This is a 486 grain arrow. Even though it draws at 29, it feels short to me. Two seventy three. And here goes the uh, 611 grain arrow. This thing is a hog. So it should be quieter, should be, you know, all overall improvement. Man, that draw just feels like, doesn't feel like 29. 246, so that's, a, that's not bad for a 611 grain arrow, but um, so overall thoughts guys, is it quieter and is there less vibration? Yeah, it's absolutely quieter. Um, there's absolutely less vibration. Um, is there still vibration? Is it still fairly loud? Um, there's definitely a little bit of vibration on the shot. Still jumps a little bit out of the hand. If you added all the accessories on there, I think obviously that would, that would make a huge improvement in the bow. You'd probably barely notice it. Um, I would still say last year's Triax probably beats this thing for quietness and for um, vibration. 
Um, but this is definitely an improvement over the RX-1 series. So if you guys had problems with vibration and noise and uh, you know wanted to see an improvement there, you're going to get it with the RX-3. The price point did go up. I believe it's a $1,700 bow this year. I know here locally it's $1,700. Turbos went up to $1,750. And you just got to ask yourself, you know, a lot of the bows on the market now are 1,000 to 1,100. Is this thing 70% better than the rest of the bows? Do you want it 70% more than the rest of the bows? Shoot them all, figure it out for yourself. But that's how I judge myself when I, when I want a bow. And last year, I wanted carbon. I was dead set on getting a carbon bow. And that's why I bought the RX-1 Turbo. So uh, I got that out of my system. So this year, I'm, I'm going back to any bow and uh, really looking forward to seeing uh, which one I like the most, but definitely a smooth bow, very smooth draw. I like the bigger cams this year, and uh, we'll see. we got a whole other set of lineup coming, and I uh, can't wait for the rest of the bows, guys. So keep watching, subscribe. There's going to be tons more videos of the new bows, just like last year. I'll do the, uh, the three bow, four bow comparisons, just like last year again this year, and I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye.